My name is Alan Renouf and I'm going to take you through the new data store cluster commandlets provided with PowerCLI 5.1. As you can see we're in the vSphere web client. If we go to our data stores you can see we have a number of data stores, specifically two data stores which are used for NFS. If we go to PowerCLI We can easily list the data store cluster commandlets we have to work with. Here you can see a get data store cluster, new, remove, and set data store cluster. Let's see how we would use these. First of all, we will create a new data store cluster, and we will call this NFS data stores. We will give it a location. In our case, we will put it into the data center called VMworld. That's now been created. I'm going to put that into a variable so that we can use it later on in some of our further examples. If we go back to the web client and do a refresh, we can see that our data store cluster has been created. The next step is to configure our data store cluster. We can do this using the set data store cluster commander. We can specify our data store cluster which we just created and we can set the SDRS automation level to fully automated. The next part is to put our data stores in our data store cluster. To do this we will first list our data stores with the word NFS in them and then we will pipe this into move data store and we will move these data stores into our data store cluster which we have just created. Both data stores have now been moved into our data store cluster. If we view the data stores in our data store cluster you can see we now have to do two data stores. We'll do a quick refresh in the web client and again we can see we have two data stores in our data store cluster. At the moment we have no virtual machines on our data store cluster. To create a virtual machine on a data store cluster, we can easily use the new dash vm commandlet and instead of specifying a data store, we can actually specify our data store cluster. In this case I'm going to put it on my first host and it will create my virtual machine on my data store cluster. Our virtual machine has now been created and if I do a refresh under related objects and virtual machines we can see our virtual machine in there. If we go to our virtual machine object we can clearly see that it's stored on our NFS data stores. Next I will show you how to remove the data store cluster. We can do that easily by specifying our data store cluster and using the remove data store cluster command. If I do a refresh, you can see our data store cluster has now been removed from vSphere. If we go back to our original virtual machine, which resided on that data store cluster, we can see that this has not been impacted and has actually been moved to the data store which it existed on. During this demonstration you have seen how to use the new data store cluster commandlets with PowerCLI 5.1.